All right, goal for the morning. Piece of firewood, gonna get turned into an ax handle. Can we do it? Little crooked, but we're working with something there. So what I might do, I got that down pretty flat. You know, it's got a good gap right in here. I have a hand plane, I also have a joiner. I might run it through once I get this other side in, because you can see I've done this side. Now I gotta get that one off. <laughs> but it's all about patience. I rushed a lot of stuff. Never does any good to rush. You know, take big chunks off when you can, but eventually it gets down to the fine work. It's not always my favorite part. I kind of like to take big chunks out, it's my nature, but then it won't come out nice. So, here we go. And the goal, I hope y'all can hear me, but the goal is to use this entire length to make a make the handle, because I don't want it to be a shorter handle. I want a longer handle. I kind of did a practice piece out of pine, and it works great. It broke once, but that was because of the wood I used. had a bad crack in it, old recycled wood. So here we go, this is what we're working with. A little more squared off now. It's got this wicked bow, but that's cause it's natural oak. Got cut down like a month ago. That one's got a big kahuna wave in it. That side not so much. So I think what I'm gonna do is uh, use my joiner and take that side down as flat as I can get it. And then this side, well, we'll see. We might uh, might use the joiner, might use a planer. I'm not sure, this is an experiment. We're going as we go. I've never processed basically firewood into something nice, so next up is the joiner. Okay, safety nerve glasses on, earring protection. Yeah, earring, so you don't pull out your earrings. Not for hearing, only for earrings. Uh, yeah, so here's the joiner and my super fancy dust collection system is a bucket that the sawdust falls into because we're poor. Um, <laughs> poor from buying tools. So anyway, joiner, it's extremely loud. Actually not terribly loud, but uh, here we go. just it just perfectly smooths out that I mean look at that about 10 minutes ago that was a chunk of firewood and now it's I mean just a perfect edge squared up piece I like that and look it's already got it's already got that kind of a little bit of a curvy swoopy axe handle 
coming out. So we're on to something here. All right, so here's the next step. Now that I got a nice flat side, put that on my nice, definitely level work table. <laughs> um, now, is this proper technique for a hand planer? Probably not. Do I know what I'm doing? Only a little. But I got the big kahuna bulge right here. You can see it just, it really kicks out to the left there. So we're gonna hand plane that down to get as close to parallel to our nice jointed flat face side. Also something really funny, not related to building this, but uh, so I have gloves on and hitting the start button on my iPhone that I'm filming this on is difficult, but not so difficult when you got a hole in one of the fingers and then you can tap your screen. So that's cool. Perfect. Okay, so we got a pretty flat surface spot right there, right here. Um, is it perfectly level? No, it's not. But what it is level enough for is the jointer now. The jointer's gonna do a lot better than the hand planer at getting a nice smooth flat surface and so i guess the reason why i'm doing this to get these nice flat long spots straight edge is it's going to be easier to run through a bandsaw when it's flat well you, one thing you don't want when you're running through a bandsaw is a lot of wobble like this broken blades like that before um not good don't want to break blades so Get a nice, flat, smooth side, and you can cut them out better. And I don't know, I might have to cut on this side and on this side, so I just want to get it square right now. A little bit of work now saves time later, so here we go. So there you have it. All I did, I took down just enough, really, to get two semi-parallel surfaces. Um, Okay, so we've come to the point where I've got my nice square board-ish. And now I'm starting to think about design aspects. Here's the old one that I broke. Now, obviously, that's a nice, you know, regular camp style length handle. I want a big monster boy. Is it gonna look weird? Probably. But is it what I want? Yes. So I see how it's got these curves to it. Um, but it's straight there. Kind of what we're going for. You can see I've already got a little bit of a natural swoop right here and then a belly right here and then it starts to come back here. And I just want to work with that. So I'm probably going to take like a little bit of scoop out of here. But then right here I want to like bring it back up and down and maybe up. I don't know. We're going to see. We're going to roughly get that shape. It just feels good in your hand. So... Time to make some pencil lines in my neighbor's home. All right, there we are. So we got one of these axes. You can kind of see I'm not the best artist, but that's the general shape I'm going for. It might look a little funky with a smaller ax head, but you know, this is the first real one I'm doing. So we'll see what it looks got like. got my uh, table saw, table saw, band saw, and I got my board. What I'm gonna do now is just try to cut out the rough shape. I'll start at the bottom just to, uh, Get a practice, but I got it all set up, so here we go. Three billion years later. What you want to do is do the final shaping of this this uh, handle on the spindle sander. Just got that tool the other day, Facebook Marketplace. It's going to be great. Excited to use it, give it a shot. But anyway, so that's the rough shape. Okay, so what I've done is I've taken some measurements and I've drawn some lines. You can see right here is where the head of the axe is going to sit. And I just used the actual axe itself. I lined it up and I put it on and literally just traced out where I want the head to go. All 
right, we're back over here at the vise. So now what you can see is that I've traced out the focus, traced out the shape of that ax head there. And I'm gonna use the draw knife again to shape it out to about that from here to here. We're going for something nice and even and straight. Okay, so you can see here, I've used the draw knife to straighten and reduce the thickness here. We're close to the lines, but not all the way to the lines. I still have to do these back corners right here, get them rounded off. But we're gonna do that on the sander, just for a little more precision. Cause draw knives, this, we're at the precision stage of this project now, where I talked about it before. It's not my favorite part, but this is the pinnacle. This is where the ax head sits on the handle. So if this isn't right, then it's all for nothing. So got to take my time and do it right. And we're going back to the sander here. So I'll sand it. I won't show you the process, but I'll show you when it's done. All right. So what we have here is the head that this is going to go on. And you can see I rough shaped it up. It's definitely probably not perfect. All right, we've done a lot more shaping, a lot more sanding, did a little hand sanding. Now we're gonna get ready to just tap this in. We're doing a light tap. And what's gonna happen is the angle, we're gonna, the edge of this is gonna leave some marks and roughing on that. And we'll see how close we get. Okay. Make sure we get it on the right way. Lined up. You know, gloves might be a good idea for this one. It's not a very sharp ax, but you know, hammers are heavy and axes are supposed to cut. So, we're just tappity tapping that one on. You can see it's starting to fit, it's a little crooked. So, we'll just keep tapping her. What you can see is some of those burrs, the wood burrs folding under, that's where it's still too high. So I'm gonna go ahead, pull that off. And now you can get a good look. You can see the ring it left on there. So it's good, we got a nice tight fit. It's just a little too tight. So the trick is gonna be making it smaller, but not too small. So back to shape. Did more sand and more shaping. We're ready for round two. I can tell right now already that feels a little bit better because it just kind of sits on there. Hitting it on the nice hard ground worked a little bit better. But you can see still some, still some glinting, but I can see right now already, this back part narrows down. I think the top part narrows down. So I think we're looking pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and just slam this puppy home and uh, we'll see what happens. <laughs> All right. All right, here's an update. <laughs> we're that far on. Getting close, getting close. It's an extremely tight fit. And I keep having to flick a little of the burrs off as we hammer this down. I mean, we're moving millimeter by millimeter by millimeter here. So that's what I'm talking about with those burrs. I just smacked it again. And uh, that's what I get. So what I do is I come in with a knife and I just go and cut those out. And we keep going. Whew. <laughs> out of breath. I've been smacking on that thing with a mallet forever. I started chiseling the burrs as they appeared. I think that's pretty darn close. That's about as close as we're going to get it right there. A little bit left. So fret not. I know people out there are going to be thinking, oh, you got to put it on from the bottom up. Well, yes, some axes you do. But 
here's an example. These axes have these little spacers in them. And I'm gonna put some of those in and that swells out the head right there. So that's a tight fit. Now it's not gonna look like that. This is a factory gax. This is, you know, my first go. I rounded these edges off so it could slip in a little bit easier. So it's not gonna be a seamless fit, but it's gonna be a tight fit. And you know what, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But now I got a shape of the handle and we'll have an axe. So those are those little, I don't know what you call these spacers. And they go into the top of the head right there. So they're in there. You can see they do their job because it cracked a little right there. I'm not super worried about the crack, you know, they're in there. It's not going anywhere. So, there we have it. A little bit more of a shaped axe. It's still a little uh, square for my liking. It's not perfect. It's not perfectly symmetrical. The head's a little crooked, but that's evidently a hard thing to get. And you gotta remember, we started with a totally wonked board.